I'd like to introduce to you Kim Nelson. Kim is the manager of operations and processes of our modern applications and data intelligence practice. Kim is here to talk to you about our admittance application. Kim, I'll hand it off to you. Thanks, Mike. All right, so um, as Mike mentioned, the admittance application is a solution that Netrix has developed to help um, organizations keep keep folks at home if they are showing any symptoms of COVID-19. Um, the application is called Admittance. It's a web application, um, so it's, it's fully responsive and works well on phones, tablets, PCs, um, and it's really a lightweight solution for making sure that you have a digital record um, that clearly shows that, you know, staff, teachers, students, parents, vendors, visitors, kind of anybody who might be coming on site um, is COVID-19 symptom free. Um, many organizations have implemented um, regulations or recommendations based on kind of local law or state law or ordinances to kind of make sure that everyone is safe um, before going into, into those facilities. Um, so the way that this application works is it's very simple. We have a, a subset of out-of-the-box authentication options for how users could sign in. Um, in the demo that I'm walking through today, I'm using our Netrix tenant. Um, and for us, we use uh, Microsoft 0365, so that's how I'm going to log in today through single sign-on. We do have other options available. You can sign in as a guest with phone number verification. We have Google integration. We've integrated with other um, specific systems for the EDU vertical as well. So there's a bunch of kind of mix and match options here. But it's a very simple assessment to make sure that uh, folks don't have any symptoms. Um, all of these questions uh, that are presented to the user each day when they log into the application are fully customizable. So um, if your school or organization wants to customize these questions or make sure they're always in alignment with the CDC guidelines, um, these are easily customizable. And it's just a series of yes or no questions um, to make sure that you don't have any new symptoms that could be related to a COVID-19 diagnosis. Um, if I select no to all of the questions and submit, uh, it'll let me know, you know, due to my responses, I'm approved to visit our Netrix offices. Um, this message is customizable as well. Um, likewise, if I had indicated that I had some of those symptoms, it would give me a message saying, um, you're not able to come on site today, please reach out to your manager. Um, kind of depending on your needs, you could customize that uh, message as well. Then it also gives uh, people who have the permissions to view uh, these reports a uh, visualization of who has been taking the assessment um, so that I know, you know, if I have just my teachers coming in, I want to go through and see okay, which teachers did submit this assessment before coming in versus who am I seeing come on site? Um, so I make sure that people are complying with any sort of policies that you put in place. Um, and then also we have the ability to set up a, a specific roster. So if you're looking for, you know, varsity or JV sports teams or your first period English class or um, everybody who works in the administrative offices. You could have a specific roster for those folks. Um, and here you can see I'm a part of this roster for the, the project team here. Um, I did take the assessment today, um, but if I were to look at who didn't take the assessment, this is who I'm seeing as who's on this roster didn't take the assessment. Um, so I want to make sure that these folks aren't coming on site. Um, really, it just gives everybody kind of a, a digital record of who is experiencing COVID symptoms, being able to kind of go back in previous dates and see who took the assessment or not to make sure that we can contact trace if needed. 
Um, and then because it is a, a web application, it's very extensible to whatever your specific needs would be. Um, so as you start to reopen your facilities post COVID-19, um, if this is a, a solution that you think might help to keep you guys safe, uh, feel free to reach out to our team here and we'll be happy to to give you a, a more in-depth demo and, and talk through your specific needs. Okay, thank you very much, Kim. That's a very Thanks. useful tool today. I, I, and I think um, if folks don't have something like this, it's it's a must have once uh, once kids really start getting back to school. Yeah, this this application actually spawned from a, a large school district um, coming to Netrix and asking, you know, what can we do to help them meet um, some of the state regulations for opening up their classrooms to, to students and teachers. Um, so we're seeing a, a lot of schools needing something like this in place as they start to have class in session. Well, thanks so much. And again, reach out to us if you want to learn more about our application that is called Admittance. Thank thanks, you. Kim. Okay, and now again, those of you who are unfamiliar with our company, Netrix, we have Angelo Rego joining us to give a brief company overview. Angelo is a digital optimization expert here at Netrix. Angelo, take it away. Thank you, Mike, appreciate it. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, like Mike mentioned, uh, my name is Angelo Rego at Netrix. I, I wanted to take some time out to provide a brief overview on Netrix. Again, for those of you who might not be familiar with us. Um, so I'm going to go through a couple slides here. Um, and if anyone has any questions, again, feel free to put them in the Q&A chat and we can uh, uh, respond back promptly. So um, Netrix is an IT consulting firm. Um, we are headquartered in Bannockburn, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago, for those of you who don't know. Um, we are roughly a little over 600 employees of that, uh, 375 being technical resources uh, as well as engineers. Uh, you will see from a coverage standpoint, we are spread out um, around the US uh, as well as internationally. So here in the US, we have presence in, besides Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Missouri, Tennessee, Arizona, and Texas, again, just to name a few. Um, internationally, you will see that we have offices in India, Bulgaria, and Netherlands, and that's for international operations as well as some of our technical uh, support. Um, along with that, Metrics does provide 24 by 7, 365 support. So that is through our cloud management center, uh, or as we call it CMC, or some of you may know it as a NAC, for example, Network Operations Center. But that, um, along with providing support, that group also uh, supports our managed services clients. Um, the next group here, uh, so what I wanted to do is highlight two groups here at Netrix. Again, I don't want to take too much time. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with PowerPoints. So I'll keep this brief, but I did want to highlight two groups here at Netrix. The first one is our Cloud Infrastructure and Security Group or CIS group. Um, so within that group uh, consists of four, four teams. Uh, the first one being our Modern Workplace Group. Um, which encompasses everything from Microsoft's 365 road mapping, assessments and deployments, as well as Microsoft security. Um, Netrix is also a fast track ready partner, as well as a CSP partner. So for those of you who don't know, uh, CSP stands for uh, Cloud Solution Provider, and it is a way for clients to procure their licensing uh, directly from a partner, meaning us at Netrix. And that is on a month to month basis. So you can make changes uh, promptly, um, either daily or monthly. So um, definitely uh, an important group here at Netrix. Again, they get quite a bit, a bit involved with that as well as everything on the O365 side. Uh, the other team I wanted to highlight is our end user computing group. So that team works on everything from Windows 10, MFA, Intune, SCCM. Uh, Defender ATP and Autopilot. So again, just uh, a few of them I wanted to highlight. Um, the, the other group is our hybrid uh, data center group, which uh, uh, covers everything from Microsoft Windows Virtual Desktop, uh, public cloud and migrations through Azure, for example, 
uh, as well as any data center upgrades or migrations or server and storage as well as uh, disaster recovery. Um, so just a couple of those that I want to highlight on what that group does. The last uh, group within this team is our network and security group. So that one, as you can imagine, covers everything from network infrastructure, next gen uh, firewalls, network architecture, infrastructure security, for example, SD-WAN, um, and firewalls as service. So again, just a few things I wanted to highlight within that group. The final group that I wanted to highlight here at Netrix is our Modern Applications and Data Intelligence Group. So we call that our MADI group. Now within that group, there are three, three practice groups. Um, the first one being our Modern Applications team. So they cover everything from, uh, again, advanced um, application development. Um, they cover everything from Azure, Azure DevOps, uh, Power Apps, and um, as well as every, anything around power platform around Teams, for example. Uh, the second group I wanted to highlight here within this team is our data intelligence group. Again, they cover everything from SharePoint, OneDrive migrations or assessments, uh, Teams and bots, especially uh, uh, Teams implementation around bots, which is a big one. They do everything from machine learning, Power BI, SQL, uh, Azure SQL, and data engineering. Um, and with that, the furnace, the Third and final group I wanted to highlight within our MADI team is our, our managed services group. Now they cover everything from application hosting, web hosting, um, as well as a website design, uh, DevOps, and data science, as well as SharePoint. So uh, this group also covers quite a bit around, you know, Teams governance, um, for example, as well as Teams integration, with, like I said, Power Platform or bots or app connectors. So just a few things I wanted to highlight here. Um, so I, uh, that's what I wanted to cover today. Again, I didn't want to, uh, you know, bore you guys with a lot of PowerPoints, but I think it was important to highlight, uh, you know, who we are and what we do here at Netrix.